Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a super fun video because it is my favorite time of the year. Today as I speak, as I record this video, it is Christmas Eve. I'm not sure what day this will be uploaded, but just know that right now it's Christmas Eve and I'm so excited and I'm kind of just putting on the final touches of everything that needs to be done and I am attending a dinner party tonight so I thought it could be fun to film a getting ready with me video showing you what I am doing with my hair and my makeup for this party now um, this is the hair and makeup that I'm doing however please just be advised that my hair is super long and it is super super heavy and I don't use any kind of product so I don't use hairspray so within five minutes of curling my hair my hair falls flat so actually my mother-in-law the other day picked up my hair and she said oh my gosh I've never realized how um, heavy your hair was <laughs> and so it is super heavy but the method that I used in the video is effective and is how I used to do my hair um, during whenever it was shorter. So that is what I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you would like to see it more and let's jump right into the video. To start off this look, I'm going to use a primer to help my makeup stay in place and to give my skin a glowy effect. I'm going to go in with foundation and pat that in with a sponge, with a makeup sponge going down my neck and all over the skin. I'm going to go under the eyes with a highlighting concealer to brighten up the middle of my face and give it a more of a glow. And then I'm going to go in with contour and contour the outside of my face. I want to keep the middle of my face glowy and the outside give it a little more depth, bringing in the contour to the hollows of my cheek. And then I'm going in with a highlight and putting that at the top of my cheeks. And I also went in later and applied that to the center of my nose, following that with a blush, with a darker tone blush. Now I'm going in to my eyebrows and... When I'm doing a holiday classic look, I like to make my brows a little darker and my skin a little lighter. I'm going in with a basic nude shade, taking that all over my lid up towards my eyebrows and going in the crease with a shadow that's a little bit darker than my skin tone to give it some depth. Following that by blending it out with a nude shade and going on the inside of my eye with a lighter white shade to highlight the inside and make it more festive. Then I'm going back in with that highlight that I used on my cheek, putting that at the center of my eyelid and following with a gel liner, creating a classic winged look, bringing that down slightly into the bottom lash line just to kind of connect the two areas of the eye. I'm going in with a lash curler, curling my eyeliner or curling my lashes and following up with a lot of mascara because I love bold brows or bold lashes. <laughs> then I'm going in with a classic red lip liner, lining my lips, taking my time to get it as close to perfect as possible. And then I'm going to continue by filling in the rest of my lips. I will pat that with a tissue and then go back in and continue filling in my lips to help the color stay. Then I will take a long lasting lip product and put that over the lip liner. Next, I'm going to take down my hair and get to work on that. Brushing out any knots and parting my hair so that I'm doing it in sections, putting the top up, leaving the bottom out. I'm going in with a flat iron and creating curls that way. This method is really great because if you are on holiday, chances are you are traveling. And um, using this tool, it's a two-in-one. So you can use it to smooth out the base of your hair and then create a curl at the bottom. Or if you're not feeling the curls, you can use the same tool to just create long, sleek, straight hair. I'm taking out another section and continuing with the same process, creating really loose curls. You can also create tighter curls just by pulling the straightener or the flat iron out a little bit slower. Once I am done with that layer, I will go to the very top layer, and this is where I spend a little more time. I move the flat iron through my hair a little bit slower just to get tighter curls because those are the ones that are going to give me 
the most shape in my hair. I'm brushing the curls out and then combing through with my fingers and brushing, creating just some depth, some volume, flipping my head over, which is my favorite part, and voila, insta volume, insta shape, and you can't go wrong. And then if you'd like, if you are somebody who doesn't like all your hair in your face or you live in a hot environment like I do, you can take one side back and pin it with a pin. And there you have it, easy, simple holiday look.